Hey guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian and I decided because I have no idea what I wanted to film today that I would just sit down and tell you random facts about me. It'd be good, right? Right. Collaboration I did with Madison Miller that I didn't like pink, like pink was not my favorite color, but I think it's growing on me because lately I've been liking pink. Yeah. So don't judge me. I'm allowed to change my mind because we're human and we could do that. But it's so cool, it looks electric, doesn't it? I like it, right? Okay, so lately I've been loving this thing. Um, it's the Clarisonic Mia 2, but they have the foundation brush head that you can apply your foundation with. Okay, I've been using this nonstop. It's bomb, but it applies my foundation so well. I use a lot less product because it's applying it evenly all over. And I just need to tell you guys that if you have a Clarisonic, to get the foundation brush. So I started a list, actually. They're kind of boring, so I was trying to think of other stuff, but maybe I'll think of stuff as I'm going. I've mentioned on my Snapchat, and my, I think just my Snapchat, I hate the words succulent and moist. Like those, I think those are words that a lot of us hate. Moist, right? I hate the word succulent. It just doesn't feel right. And I hate the word panties. So like, just don't say it around me and then we can be friends, right? And I was trying to think of a word that I really like because I need some positivity in this video and not just like a what Bailey hates video. A word that I really like is the word falafel. It just rolls off the tongue so well, falafel. I also hate the word toast, ugh. We should call it a fun fact video because this is like, yeah, fun fact video. Okay, let's do a concealer. And today I am going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer and this is Fair Warm. I have mixed feelings about this concealer. I can't tell if I like it or if I hate it. I've used it a handful of times over this weekend for Thanksgiving and all that, I was wearing it. I noticed that you can't dot it all over because it dries down. Once it dries, it's like on. And sometimes it looks really heavy underneath my eyes and then sometimes it, it just looks great. So I can't, Figure it out, another random fact. Okay, you know the movie Short Circuit? You know that little robot guy in that movie? When I was growing up, like I was terrified of that robot thing. And sometimes to this day, I will have a bad dream and that robot is in it. He creeps me the hell out. And didn't the lady have like sex with that robot in the movie? Which was kind of weird. Oh, I have like a long list of movies I've never seen before. Like I've never seen Pretty Woman. I just saw um, Pulp Fiction for like the first time, but I fell asleep. So technically I didn't even see all of it. It's not that I didn't like it. It's just that they were talking so fast and I was really tired. They talk so fast in that movie. Um, I've never seen Star Wars. A lot of like the classics, like Ferris, Bueller's Day Off. When I was a kid though, I was obsessed with Wizard of Oz and my mom made me a Dorothy costume. And this was before like they started selling the ruby slippers at like Target and whatnot. My mom would, uh, she bought shoes for me and then she covered them in glitter. She got me a basket and like a fake dog, Toto. You know, cause I was Dorothy, okay. And I watched that all day, every day. And to this day, I still like Wizard of Oz has like a little special place in my heart. I only have two listed, well three, Wizard of Oz, Home Alone, and Uncle Buck. But like I know there's a lot more, like I love 10 Things I Hate About You. If you follow me on Snapchat, I'm always singing Beauty and the Beast. Well I was always singing it and everyone got sick of it, was telling me to shut up. So, the NARS Eden Soft Velvet Loose Powder. I like this concealer. It's very full and it's very matte. I'm, I think it's just because I'm so used to the Tarte Shape Tape that this one throws me off because it's no, it does not blend like the Tarte does. Um, but that's not Urban Decay's fault. Well, that's just what I'm used to. But it covers like my hyperpigmentation. Um, it looks nice. I'm just setting my under eyes down the center of my nose. My first car was an 86 Toyota Corolla. That thing was the best, okay? It took like $20, filled up the gas tank. Um, it would last me forever. I would drive, it was like a little go-kart. It was so easy to drive. It had a radio. That, bear, that didn't really work at all, but um, it was, oh, no AC. That sucked, because it gets really hot in the summertime. And one of my first jobs, I was a lifeguard. Lifeguard! Just sit there, because no one had ever come to the pool. When I see kids like who want really fancy cars for their first car, it just doesn't make sense to me. Or actually, 
I know how kids are, the little bitches. They want the nice shit. Um, yeah, so one of my first jobs, I was a lifeguard and then I worked at a smoothie place. That didn't last long. I was there maybe like a month and because I was an immature child, I decided that I didn't want to work there anymore. So I just stopped showing up and that's how I quit that job. And then I worked, oh, picture people. I took pictures of kids and like families and stuff. Oh man, that was rough. Which is funny now, cause like I don't even know how to work a camera. So I took pictures of like families and stuff and babies, like newborn children. I'm sure you've seen a picture of people at a, like your local mall. I was there. After that, I worked at Best Buy for two years in customer service. So I had to like deal with returns and all that bull crap, which is awful. And I think everyone needs to work customer service some, sometime in their life because you realize how crappy people are and they're mean and it might make you a little bit nicer when you go out shopping. And then after working at Best Buy for two years, I still, I worked at Best Buy and I worked at Sephora. And then eventually I quit my job at Best Buy and I worked at Sephora and then I was there for five years. And then from there I went to Urban Decay and I was working there for almost a year. And now I'm here. Their Crunchwrap Supremes are everything. I was in a lot of sports and activities because I never like found that thing I was good at. So I would try everything out. I played tennis. I did horseback riding. I tried out for volleyball. I tried out for soccer. I did cheerleading. Was a cheerleader for like four years. I was on dance. I did jazz. I did gymnastics. Oh, I played violin, piano, or I did piano lessons. I can't really say I played piano because I wasn't very good. Oh, I was on a bowling league. I have a, a little award, a statue thing. Uh, yeah, I was, me and my sister are on a bowling league. I didn't get my first boyfriend until I was 17 or 18 years old. I think I was 17 turning 18. I was a very late bloomer. And so I got my first boyfriend. That was like my first love and everything, right? So embarrassing. After two years of dating, he broke up with me and I was so depressed. I didn't know how I was ever gonna move on with my life. I remember that was like the worst is when your first love breaks your heart. And then I got over it. Now looking back, I, I don't know what I was thinking. But let me tell you a funny story. So we broke up and then like a year goes by or whatever and I don't really see him. And I started working at Best Buy, right? Guess who worked there? He did. So we ended up working together and it was awful. I was like, and our departments were like right across from each other. So I was constantly staring in his direction. I was like, what the fuck life? I finally moved on and like, this is what you're facing me with. So then after I left Best Buy, I never saw him again, right? Cool. I was living my best life. Anywho, so like a year ago, he found me on like Instagram, I guess. And on my Instagram, I have my email address listed. He sent me an email telling me that he heard I was a model and stuff. I was like, yes, I'm a famous model. And that he needed closure. He thinks about me all the time or something like that. It was really stupid. He's the one that broke up with me. I don't know why he was saying he needed closure. He was just mad because I'm all looking cute now. Back then I wasn't so cute. Stupid ass. So I was a late bloomer, right? Like after me and my first uh, boyfriend broke up, then I started to realize like, cause I got kind of cute, I guess. I'm not even sure what happened, but all of a sudden I got asked out all the time. So then I would start dating and whatnot. And dating was rough, especially when you like you, you're you late to the game. And then you realize like guys hit you up, then they disappear. And you're like, what just happened? And then you never hear from him again. Now it's called ghost, ghosting. Yeah, but back in my day, it was just called, what the fuck? Anywho, and then I ghosted a few guys in my time too, you know? You gotta let them know. But you're not interested by disappearing and not being just honest and straightforward. Oh. <laughs> so when I got my first car, I feel like a lot of people, when you first start driving, you're just a shitty driver. And I, I would speed a lot because I'm in an 86 Toyota Corolla and that thing could go from zero to 45 in like three minutes. So my stupid ass, cause I didn't learn, I got like three speeding tickets. I had to do community service to get the speeding tickets off my record. They sent me to the Salvation Army, which that's fine. I like Salvation Army, but I had to sort the clothes that were being donated. So people would drop off just big old garbage bags at the back door of the Salvation Army. And my job was to go through those bags and like put in a pile of stuff that they could sell and stuff to throw away and stuff to wash. Girl, you would not believe what kind of nasty ass shit people were donating thinking they could like, we could, they could do something with it. It was disgusting. I was a kid, they didn't even give me gloves. 
I was there trying to sort. People were donating like dirty underwear. I think that was the first time I saw like a sex toy in real life. Someone donated one and I was sorting it like, what, it, where, what pile does this go in? Like something else, I did another sport that I forgot to tell you guys. I was on a swim team. I was on a swim team. I went to the swim meet when you compete with like other people in your state and I got like third place, not to brag you guys, but I got like third place in freestyle or was it backstroke? Hmm, what else, what else? I used to go to a lot of shows. I think the two like bands that I've seen the most are like No Effects and Bad Religion, but I don't think that was on purpose. I think because they play all the time, it just kind of worked out that way. But since moving to Los Angeles, I haven't gone to a show, which is weird because I'm in like the prime spot. When I saw No Effects, got to crowd surf, which if you have not crowd surfed in your life, I highly suggest it. It's like flying, except people are groping you and pulling down your pants and stuff the whole time. So this is the Dose of Colors. There's no names to this palette. This is the uh, Desi and Katie collaboration one. So I purchased this and I've honestly never used it. I've only swatched it with my fingers. I don't quite understand how to use these like, because the color payoff isn't that intense. So I'm, I just, that's why I haven't messed with it too much. I'm gonna use this shade. This is going to be on the edge of my eye. Okay, so I'm doing like the outer V with this shade, right? I didn't bring a blending brush because I just didn't come prepared today, per usual. This is technically like a highlighting brush or something by Stelazi, but it's going to work. I'm gonna make it work as my blending brush. This brush actually blended it quite nicely. I'm surprised. This shade right here, it's this gold shade. This I'm placing on the edge of my eye and all over my lid. I'm taking my blending brush and just blending that all out. I'm just blending it all together, really, to be honest, like like this. Mm, mm, mm. When I used to work at Best Buy, okay, so I lived in this like this uh, 55 and older community surrounded us. So we got a lot of older people and a lot of older people seem to be creeps. I'm sure we're all aware of this if you're female. I would encounter a lot of creeps and this, a couple, a couple of times, older men who were customers would tell me that I looked like Angelina Valentine. So I Googled her and she's a porn star. Now, whenever I use a fake name for something, like if I'm filling out whatever, I don't wanna give my real name, I just use the name Angelina Valentine. Because recently I went to the Scientology Center, not because I wanna know, like be a Scientologist, it's because I'm a very nosy and curious person and I've been watching the Scientology show. It's just crazy, so I wanted to be like, go inside. So I just pretended I had no idea what they were talking about or what Scientology was. So this guy who was really excited to be alive kept making me fill out my first and last name with my phone number and my street address. And because I am smart, I was putting Angelina Valentine and then a fake address and a fake phone number. So I really hoped that they Googled me because I would love to see that. So I Googled like YouTube get to know me questions, but I think it's for kids. Am I too old for this? Are you going to college? <laughs> How many girlfriends, boyfriends have you had? Well, okay, but wait, wait, wait. Remember when Snapchat first started, you guys, you two, you boys in here, Did you, were you guys on it? Nick, you were like a baby, huh? When, when Snapchat first started? Okay, well, when Snapchat first started, it wasn't as high tech as it is now, you know? The images would disappear and you couldn't replay and you couldn't screenshot, you couldn't do anything. It was very intense. So for some odd reason, boys would send me videos or clips of their balls and not like their dick, but just their balls. So I would get tons of videos of just balls and like nothing else. It was weird. It was a weird time. I remember one time one guy was swinging his dick around in like a helicopter thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? In the beginning, you could not let go of the snap or it would stop playing. So you couldn't screenshot. And no, I wouldn't screenshot that. Why would I screenshot a guy spinning his dick around like that in that helicopter motion? It was terrifying. <laughs> I think maybe I had like the same username as like, I don't know, somebody else? Cause it wasn't people I knew. This is the heavy metal um, glitter liner in Pyro. So let's do the 
Blush Crush Lottie London Blush, and this is in Zane. So for my lips, I did Urban Decay Lip Liner in Stark Naked. Just a dab of the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in, oh man, M Munica? M-U-N-E-C-A, Munica. Okay, and then I topped it off with the Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. Just so right, look at right in there. Looks great. I was gonna do eyelashes, but in all honesty, I just like, this look is, um, it's just not my favorite. So I hope you like this video, uh, but with all of my random facts, I completely drew a blank towards the end there and I had no more left. I'm sure when I'm driving home right now, I'm going to think of a million. I can actually guarantee it. I'm probably gonna be like, oh, I should have said this. I should have said that. And I think that's it. I hope you have a great day today. Make good choices. I'll see you guys later.